What's up, good people? What's happening, man? It's your dog, Toddy, checking in with a real quick video for y'all. Before we get started, man, let's get the commercials out of the way first. Uh, please, as you come in or as you watching the video, make sure to hit that like button for your dog, man. It really helps the channel grow, and it really helps the videos get out in that algorithm. You know, so thank you in advance. So with that said, that out of the way, man, let's get straight to the business, man. We ain't got a lot of time to waste right now. Hey, former Atlanta Falcons. Former Atlanta Falcon linebacker, more specifically, Devon Dre Campbell. And, and, and again, before I continue, I was out here in the, 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 the Twitter streets. Y'all know I be in these Twitter streets. And this happened to come across my desk. Devon Dre Campbell, former Falcon, has a little Twitter beef, a Twitter spat, a Back and forth with Falcons fans today, y'all. Yes. So, as you see on the screen, we're looking at Devondre Campbell's uh, Twitter. And, of course, with the new thing with Twitter, you know, the, the athletes, celebrities, they got to pay to get the blue check. So, just like us, a lot of them decided not to do it. But I can assure you, this is Devondre Campbell's official Twitter uh, let's take a look at this. Uh, somebody hit him up. They said, they said, uh, LOL, you always in somebody else's business. So they came and banged on the bunch real quick. Glad you aren't a Falcon anymore. The Vundre replied, MF can't even spell glad. Falcons haven't been to the playoffs since I left. Please take several seats. So he threw us a little shot right there. You know, that was a little jab. But he hit him with a jab, and he jabbed right back, you know. So um, this actually went on for a few other tweets, y'all. We're going to continue to look at them right here. So somebody else replied to Devon Dre. They said, hey, don't do that because most of us Falcons fans showed you love. Don't let one person take you out of character. Devon Dre replied. Definitely wouldn't say most. That's a stretch. Maybe like somewhere between 20 to 30%. The rest were happy because they didn't understand how important I was and how much money I saved that team over my four years. So you really got to read in between the lines of that tweet. The person that tweeted, tweeted at him said, most Falcons fans showed you love. And he came back and said, nah, maybe like 20 to 30% of y'all showed me love. I'm going to eat. If I'm reading between the lines, he almost said y'all was kind of an ungrateful fan base. I'm glad I'm gone. That's what I read in between the lines of that tweet. But let, let's keep going. Let's keep going because he he still was going back and forth. So what, what else we got? Okay, here we go. Somebody replied, we ain't make the playoffs when you were here either. LOL. Devondre replied, made the playoffs two out of four years. I was there including one of two. Super Bowl appearances, franchise history. And we were a couple plays away from going back the following year. Just shows how much you watch the games. So the Vondre is really, really going back and forth with the Falcons fans. And I think this, I think this is the final one of a series of tweets that he had going back and forth with our with the fan base, the Falcons fan base. Um, somebody just came out and said, and this is Andy on Twitter. Andy said, hey, what went wrong with the team? The Vondre replied, they just didn't understand how important me and um, and he added Brian Poole were to that defense. I called both. He said, I called both of us the garbage man. We did all the dirty work and never got credit for it. They thought we were replaceable and have been chasing players like us ever since. All facts. Bang. So he said a mouthful right here, y'all. He said a mouthful. Reading these tweets and also reading some of uh, Devondre's other tweets about his past career with the Falcons, uh, it's apparent that he has a real bitter taste in his mouth with Atlanta, how everything went with Atlanta and uh, what have you. And that's obvious in these tweets right here uh, that he, he went back and forth with some of our fans with. Now, I will tell y'all this. I'm going to tell y'all this. A little bird. And I, now, now, this is back when he still played with the Falcons right before he left. 
a little birdie had whispered in my ear. A little birdie had whispered in my ear that Devondre Campbell was not happy in Atlanta. In fact, that birdie told me Devondre wasn't happy here. Tack didn't want to be here. They told me, um, and DeMonte Casey, they said those three players don't want to play for the Falcons anymore. They're ready to go somewhere else. And coincidentally, all three players ended up going somewhere else. I even remember a time I posted, this is when he was, this is when uh, KZ was still on the team. I posted something on the Atlanta Bird Gang Instagram, and KZ didn't like it. He jumped right in my, my, my uh, inbox, my DM. I posted something that he didn't like, and he jumped right in my DM and uh and told me in so many words he didn't like that tweet. Not tweet, he didn't like that post on Instagram, and he told me why he didn't like it, he didn't appreciate it. You know, he didn't he didn't ask me to take it down. I never took it down, but he made it apparently clear to me, like, bro, I don't I, I ain't I ain't digging that. I ain't digging that. Um, but yeah, that that that's just 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 some of the stuff that, that happened back then. And going back to uh, Vondre when he was with the foul, because it's obvious at this point, if I'm being honest, which I'm definitely going to be with y'all, it's obvious at the point we paid the wrong linebacker, you know? And maybe they paid Debo instead of Vondre because maybe they saw that maybe they felt like Debo wanted to be here more. I don't know. I don't know what happened behind the scenes. But if we could do it all over again, we would, of course, want to keep Vondre Campbell here who eventually went on to make first team all pro with the Packers. And the thing about it, when he left Atlanta, um, he signed a prove it deal with the Cardinals. I think it was, and it was like one year for $6 million. So it ain't like he broke the bank on the following contract after Atlanta. Um, I really feel like we could have afforded that, but as I just told y'all, Lil birdie told me he didn't really want to be here anyway. I've seen him say other things on Twitter, like I kind of saw tonight, that he wasn't really feeling the fan base. So that's probably why he was banging on us right here. <laughs> but um, I want y'all to tell me y'all thoughts. I don't want to make this super, super long. You can go to the Vondre Campbell's uh, Twitter account and see this whole back and forth yourself. But tell me what y'all think. Y'all think Vondre just keeping it real, you know? Or do y'all think it's some animosity in those tweets? I'm going to give y'all my opinion. You don't have to agree with me, but I think that there is some animosity in those tweets, in my opinion. But I want to know your opinion, too. Tell me what you think about this back and forth little Twitter beef that Devondre Campbell had with some Atlanta Falcons fans today on his Twitter account. Um, as always, man, make sure that you like the video. If you like this video and you, you like the content that we drop here on Atlanta Bird Gang, make sure that you are subscribed to the channel. Hit the notification bell also, and that way you always get notified by YouTube whenever we drop a new video. And as I always say, I'll see y'all the next time I see y'all. Peace.